Welcome to episode number 8 of the good, bad, ugly of the speakers and trainers in Asia. So in this episode, and by the way, to watch, in order to watch this episode, I highly recommend that you watch episode 7 first because it is an extension of what I said in episode 7. So again, recently, I've started promoting Sifu stuff. I'm saying that, hey, you know what? Sifu has a very... Um, um, interesting idea called the wealth triangle and the wealth triangle makes a lot of sense because many times people who fail in business because they said i'm sick and tired of the rat race i want to get out and i want to start a new business and you how many of you realize that starting a business is not is not an easy task because the schools do not teach you what you've got to learn you've got to you've got what it takes to become a successful business owner or entrepreneur so yes, you have to go and learn from other people who have done that, who have actually been successful in creating their own businesses. That's cool. Okay, so I'm not here in this business, in this episode, talk about like cracking the entrepreneurial code stuff. But just coming back to the God trainers. God trainers say that, hey, you know what? That wealth triangle doesn't make sense. Because the wealth triangle, hello, in the first place, is not what I'm teaching you. You know what? Because I have started my own businesses, and I'm successful and therefore you can learn from me. What I notice is that you can do your own thing, I can do my own thing. I mean, in, in Cantonese, we call ho sui pa fan jian sui. And what does it mean? Because at the end, we have no conflict. I'm not saying that, hey, you know what? Just because I'm promoting somebody's stuff, and you come and say that this stuff is not relevant, it's not, it's not important. Whereas for me, I do my own thing. I said, well, high income skill in terms of High ticket closing makes a perfect sense because when you start a business, when you have your prospects coming to you, if you don't know how to sell, you don't you get no money. Even though you know how to sell, you manage to pitch, present, but you do not know how to close. And worse still, it is a high ticket item and you don't know how to close a high ticket item. You can have a successful infrastructure of your business foundation, but no money comes in. Eventually, your business will collapse. So Sifu make a very nice statement because he says before you even consider starting a new business, do you have a high income skill in the first place? So high income skill can be a skill like copywriting, can be a skill like digital marketing, can be a skill of social media management. In my case, a skill that helps people reduce the amount of taxes legally, ethically and morally. And of course, this one, which is this episode we are talking about, the high ticket closing skill. So wherever I heard, God Trainer says, wow, this high income skill sucks. It's not relevant to you. So don't learn from them because it's nothing applicable to you. I, I scratch my head. Why do, why do the God Trainers say that in the first place? Again, episode number two, I make a very clear statement. If someone said that I live in abundant mindset by putting somebody down, like this is it a scarcity mindset in play so scarcity abundant mindsets you got you got to figure out so in this episode the message from me is truly I, I, I was very frustrated when I heard that kind of statement because you know why I do my own thing God trainers do their own thing we have no conflict in my opinion I do I do not I do not put the God trainers down. And why would the God trainers put my Sifu down, my trainers down, people around me, people I embrace down? I don't understand. Remember, you don't like to do something. You don't like other people to do this on you. Then in the first place, don't do it on other people. So episode number eight, I make it very clear. I do my own thing. God trainers, you do your own thing. We are not in conflict. I embrace my own principles. I embrace the principles I've learned from my teachers, my mentors. So be it. If God trainers, you don't like it. It's your problem, not mine. I make it very, very direct to God trainers. You know why? At the end of the day, if you are making such remarks, it only means that you are actually operating in a scarcity mindset. Okay, that's it. It's a bit of the ranting here. I don't like this anyway. So comment below if you have any comments and questions, observations.
Remember, there are seven episodes before this. I will encourage you to go back and watch them first before this episode. I'll see you in episode number nine. Jack Wong here. I'm signing off. Bye-bye.